it would help maybe if you use a little bit less examples and then went more in depth in those examples. So then it could be easier for you to remember and also help the audience keep up with you a little easier. And also that would help with the transitions too because instead of having to go from one example to another, like step A, B, C, D, E, F, then you only have to go from A, B, C, and then you'll know each one with, with much cl more clarity and also with much more detail. Okay, let's see what else. And I'll also notice, as a good thing, I was there for your first speech too, and I noticed that in your first speech you're a little nervous, you spoke of a lot slower pace and also you had a lot more real words, but this time when you're up here, you're a lot more comfortable. You had pictures of me, so you walked up to other people and talked to them directly, and also talked to about yourself with a lot more confidence. So I like how when you're up here, I showed that you really did practice and also grew from your first speech. So I'm excited to hear more from you. Thank you. Great job validating Thailand. <laughs> um, I really like how you did the uh, good, bad, good sandwich. That way, you know, everyone's motivated to hear the, bad, the good stuff at the end. Also, I like how you were specific at the project. Sometimes we tend to like just give an overall the sporadic evaluation when he was focusing on being organized. So let's move on to the second evaluation, who is evaluating Jiffin. Uh, Bonadet, please welcome to the stage. Fifth speech from the Competent Communicator Manual, Your Body Speaks. His main objective was, does he use stance, movement, gestures, facial expressions, and eye contact to express your message and achieve your speech's purpose? I think you did a great job with all of those five sections. First off, stance. You were not crouching down. You were not having your arms go all around. You were standing here. You showed confidence with your stance and posture. Your second section body movement. With your stance and posture, even though you had a great stance and posture, you had good movement around a stage. You didn't just sit or stand in one section of the stage. But I would work on one part of that, is that you should have a sense of purpose while moving with this, on the stage. I felt that you were pacing around, and again, it's great to have body movement around the stage, but I would have some type of purpose with that. Uh, gestures. I love the gestures throughout the speech. When you said, this guy is an idiot, that allowed you to focus and visualize this person who's beneath you and is not the same level as you. And again, tell me more. This further visualizes the point and engages the audience and allows them to pay attention throughout your speech. Third or fourth part, facial expression. I would say you did a great job with this. You showed your determination when you said worked very hard and employee of the month and you shifted that to sadness when you didn't get that. But however, I would say that I wish I had seen more expressions. Fifth, eye contact. One of the major aspects that many individuals may not have by their fifth speech, but you did a great job. You focused on the general area rather than focusing on individuals. It can be very awkward when you just focus on one person your whole speech. He's feeling very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at his expressions. He reacts to that. And you feel very awkward yourself. And individuals will notice that. Why is this person only focusing on one individual when you have this whole stage? But you focus on the general area. You focus on the whole people, and again, great job with that. Now for your speech overall. You, come, you allowed the audience to further engage themselves into the speech by asking them to raise their hand. Again, that's a great way to grab the audience's attention and allow them to focus in for the rest of your speech rather than losing interest halfway in. Organization, you had a great beginning, great middle. However, I felt that you had a good conclusion, but it was just paced a little too fast. I think we were almost uh, out of time. But overall, I just want to say great speech. Just work on pacing on the stage, <laughs> pacing of the conclusion, and just using a couple more facial expressions. And that's basically it. Great job. Thank you.
great job, Anade. You did a very good job giving specific examples. I know whenever I give a speech, an evaluator gives an evaluation. Specific examples are the ones that stick in my head, except they're rather than you know broad statements saying, oh, you paused here, they're like paused a lot in your speech. Giving you know <coughs> specific examples of where he was focusing on, on someone or when he was looking down a gesture. That was a great uh, example of you know being very accurate. So on to wait, we have four speeches. On to our third evaluation. <laughs> I'm not used to four speeches. All right, er, on to our third evaluation, and that is George evaluating Alex. Good luck. <laughs> so, Alex, your topic was changing my history of fear, and you did three stories today, um, which could be maybe distracting, but I think you did a good job summarizing each speech. Uh, starting with the first one, you started uh, by painting a picture. The sun was shining and glistening uh, on the lake, which I thought was really good uh, imagery, putting us there. I could envision you know, the sun shining and the lake and kind of uh, uh, places that I've probably been, so that was kind of cool. And you had good use of vocal variety in the first one. You used onomatopoeia um, by making goose noises, so that was pretty good. <laughs> Second, uh, the second story, you included Michael, and in the speech, it, it talks about developing characters, and in that one, I'm gonna go into some feedback later on, more uh, critiquing you, but you include, in this one, there was more developing of the character with using Michael. Uh, for this one, you used good body language in terms of expressing gestures and mannerisms, uh, impersonate, impersonating yourself when you were drunk, so, we could kind of get that when we've been there, maybe. So that was pretty good. And the last speech was on Six Flags. And you, you did a really good job, uh, which just for, for the manual, it's on storytelling. So this one was probably one of the uh, best prime examples of uh, expressing yourself, how you felt physiologically by saying that your heart was palpitating. <coughs> you kind of said it along those lines before riding the roller coaster. So I thought that was pretty good, making us feel we've probably been there before when, when we've been kind of nervous. So, and then you, you kill it on the fundamentals, kind of like Bonaday was talking about Jitan with the fundamentals, he killed it just with eye contact, spreading it throughout the room. Good control of stage, moving, using gestures and, and owning the stage. I think he did a really, really good job. And you were really great with your timing and delivery. And lastly, Things to improve. Uh, this was one of your better speeches, and you always do really well, but this was only thing that I could think of for this one. Maybe you guys have some things that I've missed, but I mentioned, I'm gonna go back to the second speech, which you mentioned Michael, but in this speech, you were supposed to incorporate uh, the characters, and I, I really didn't feel like I, I got to know the characters, who were they? What about him? You mentioned your girlfriend, but I don't really, you didn't really mention her, like what was her experience like in developing the characters? What does she feel? And I felt like you could have improved on the in-depth of the characters. That's about it. Thank you. You did a great job, George, on everything that I said prior. Also, I know Alex is a very experienced speaker, so we could take Criticism at the end. Um, <laughs> you did that, I'm just kidding. Um, and also, I've heard, I don't know any of the psychology behind it, but I've heard that the things people remember is the stuff you say first and the stuff you say last. So saying that at the end, he'll definitely remember that. <laughs> However he feels to that, whatever. So, on to our next evaluator, which will be the last evaluator, is Helen. And she is going to give her first evaluation today. So everyone give a warm hand of applause to Helen.
introduction was pretty clear that I know that you're going to talk about the book that introduced about the inter uh, interpersonal skills, like the have six rules and stuff. And I was anticip I get this antip anticipation of well, I would know how to be a good communicator in business. And then you start your points uh, clearly with genuine interest, uh, genuine interest in people's topics and that stuff. And um, for the second point, you actually expressed your point by your facial expression, which is very impressive, and I like it. It gives us the, it makes the point that smile will make people feel better and get better communication with others. And then the third point you mentioned is like remember people's name, and you use your own experience about remembering or forgetting a girl's name from bars, which is, well, yeah, it's a good <laughs> example, I would say. And then when you, for the fourth and the fifth point, I think you kind of uh, didn't remember the point that you're gonna say, so you pause a little bit, but I think you get through that with naturally. And for the first point, uh, we actually connect that pause with the topic that you're mentioning, so I think that's good. And um, well, uh, I couldn't remember the last six. Oh well, the fifth point is about well, don't mention terms that others don't interest in interesting, and the sixth is about making others feel important. And yeah, I you get to those points really like directly, and you make that point very well. How can you say that? Yeah. Um, yeah, I just get that, sorry. And then you get to your conclusion about this is a good book that people should read if you are interested in interpersonal skills in, for business. Well, for this part, I would say like, um, I'm, I'm pretty, oh, through all your speech, I would know like, I'm, I'm pretty, well, uh, inspired on all these six points, but I'm not pretty sure if I want to read the book though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, overall, I would say your speech has a very clear structure and you're actually tied up the experiences from uh, daily life to business, so everybody is kind of interested in it. And um, the six rules are very clear, so yeah, that's all right. <laughs> That's about it for the evaluations of the prepared speeches. Now, uh, timer. Is all the evaluations on time? Yes, they were. All right, so if you look on your ballot, on the bottom of that uh, slip, you'll see best evaluator. If you could write down who you think is the best evaluator and pass it in the middle, that'd be great. To um, grammarian, how did we do? Uh, we only had two people say Russian words. That was Alice and Chris. Uh, they both had four. Uh, otherwise, I didn't notice any drastic grammar issues. Right. Oh, I'm Russell Brown. <laughs> <laughs> so, and uh, lastly, the off counter. Okay, so there's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. The second time you had zero, the second time you
you had four, Kyle Chan you had zero, Holiday had zero, George had 13, Ella had nine, Anika had five, Mike had four, Ifra had one, Melissa had one, Chris had zero, and Austin had five. Nice. <laughs> so on to my evaluation of the entire meeting. Overall, we did a great job. It was very coherent. One thing, or there's two things that I had uh, to point out. One was uh, collecting the slips. <laughs> and, you know, throughout the entire speeches, we didn't actually collect the evaluations and me and uh, Fahim were freaking out, like, how are we going to do this? It all came in once, so, you know, getting out there. I know it's a small thing to forget, but, you know, having an organization to the meeting makes the flow flowing. So, <laughs> there's literally no other word for that. So, other than that, there is the uh, problem of uh, stage etiquette. This usually isn't said in this meeting, but I've seen it in almost every single meeting. It happened in this meeting as well. When you're done speaking, if you're a, spe like, if you're a prepared speaker, the Toastmaster will be here, or in this case, sitting there, and he'll extend a hand to shake. Make sure when you're leaving the stage, you shake someone's hand. <laughs> Not in the crowd, specifically, if you're table topics, there's a table topics master. He's supposed, he supposed to walk out and shake your hand. And evaluations, the general evaluator. And that's customary for every single section of this meeting. So make sure that when you're done, shake someone's hand. And that is about it for my evaluation. Please welcome the Toastmaster to the stage. Tyler.